Thank you. Yes, uh, my name is Stepan Pulakov uh, from Five Star Media Production Company. Mrs. Yurova, you said several times we should fight the Russian propaganda, right? Yes. Yes. So who will define what is Russian propaganda? Who will be the person who will do it? Sometimes I see you sound like a Russian propaganda. I prop do. I sometimes, I like said sometimes, you. yes. Uh, Anna Karenina and brothers Karamazov are Russian propaganda or no? And what is the space of the definition of Russian propaganda? Mm. Legally, Thank you. Legally speaking, uh, uh, I, I believe that in the member states, uh, like, I, I will give you an example of Czech, Czech reality. Yeah? I know very well the, the Czech uh, criminal law. And there is the prohibit, prohibition of promoting the agre, agre, war aggression or ag ag aggressive war, something like that. So uh, in our member states, uh, we see more or less legal response uh, on, uh, on such appearance of, of such kind of propaganda. And uh, nobody defines clearly uh, on European level uh, what is the word propaganda. But what we see, what's appearing in the, especially in online sphere, is uh, an avalanche of uh, manifestly clear, verifiable lies. One of them is that the aggressor is Ukraine and the victim is Russia. Sorry, but this is for me a clear cut case. This is not true. And this is uh, obviously the celebratory uh, or, or uh, uh, excusing uh, declaration which uh, should uh, purify the aggression of Russia. And these kind of things appear in a massive amounts in, in our, especially digital, digital world. Who will define it? Uh, it's uh, not defined at the, at the EU level, but uh, again, we are equipped in the national legislation to address this kind of uh, this kind of information, which has uh, the potential to uh, do harm to the society. I think that uh, uh, there was an anecdote. Uh, somebody uh, was commenting that there is no definition of uh, pornography, <coughs> but he said, nevertheless, when I see it, I know it is pornography. <laughs> so I think with Russian propaganda, it's very much the same. Uh, when I see it as a journalist, I know it's Russian propaganda, and I see it every day, and more and more, and unfortunately, I see it very much in the Bulgarian media. Uh, for various reasons, uh, Bulgaria is much more vulnerable uh, to Russian propaganda compared to the other country I know best, and that is Belgium. Uh, in Belgium, it's much more difficult uh, to, for Russian propaganda to get across. Uh, in Bulgaria, Russian propaganda appears even on mainstream media. One mainstream television has uh, broadcast, for example, uh, a Russian narrative according to which the truck that uh, blew uh, the Kerch bridge uh, was loaded in Bulgaria. And that's a mainstream television, can you imagine? Uh, but but uh, there is a thin line, uh, or it is not a trivial question. Uh, on what is propaganda, what is war propaganda, and so on. But when I see it, I recognize it. <laughs> and at the same time, what we want to achieve is to get the facts right. Facts. Everything we do against this information, and also everything we do through this media freedom act, is seeking for the situation when uh, we will have the facts and that, that we will be able to make our own choices on what we believe in and what, what we uh, what will direct also our for instance electoral preferences and so on. So this is this is not a trivial question, but I believe and I am convinced that we did the right thing by sanctioning Russia today and Sputnik. It was not because of the content, it was because of the ownership and the establishment of these so called media. Who will define what is the fact and what is semi fact? We don't have hours. Yes, just, uh, just to say a few words. Verifiable, verifiable facts. Yes, at the which end, uh, in the uh, third part of our discussion, we are going to have this topic. Just I wanted to say that we all hope that this war will be over soon. And the media, uh, media freedom act is something that is sustainable. 
that is going to help really to create independent and free media. It's not just a wartime uh, media to the market. It's something very sustainable. So thank you. Thank you, Vice President. Thank you so much for your time. Uh,